it isn't like I'm got a hunger strike or something like that going on. It, uh, it's just that they, things aren't attractive. And, uh, and there's, well, there, there's certain ways that can change, and we'll see whether they do. Uh, our cash and treasury bills were $182 billion at the quarter end, and I think it's a fair assumption uh, that they brought probably about $200 billion. Warren Buffett recently presided over the 2024 Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders meeting and mentioned that Berkshire Hathaway's cash and treasury bills were sitting at a whopping $182 billion at the end of last quarter. And then he added further, he thinks it's likely to be around $200 billion by the end of this quarter. That's a mind-blowing amount of money. But here's where it gets really interesting. The company as of now holds a whopping $36 billion in cash and $153 billion in treasuries. That's a total cash hoard of a staggering $189 billion. Yep, you heard that right. $189 billion just sitting there. Now, another concerning thing to note about the current market is that it's highly overvalued, and as Warren Buffett said, things aren't attractive. The same is indicated by none other than the Buffett Indicator, which was created by Warren Buffett back in 2001. Okay, but why is it concerning? Historically, a crash has followed after an overvalued market, and we will talk about that later in the video. But wait, there's more! By the end of this video, I'm going to share what Warren Buffett would do if he only had $1 million to invest right now. Trust me, you'll want to hear this strategy. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Investing Machine. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so first, look at these figures. This is the first quarter 2024 earnings report by Berkshire Hathaway, and these figures are in millions. So, what can you see here? Let me break it down for you. First off, Berkshire Hathaway hit another milestone with its cash and U.S. Treasury holdings. They reported operating earnings of $11.22 billion, up from $8.06 billion a year ago. The company is currently sitting at a whopping $189 billion. Now, why is this important? When a company like Berkshire Hathaway is holding on to such a massive cash reserve, it's not just about having a comfortable safety net. It can also be a red flag signaling that Buffett and his team are seeing something concerning in the market. You see, Warren Buffett is famous for his cautious and strategic approach to investing. He's not one to sit on cash without good reason. This massive cash hoard suggests that Berkshire Hathaway might be preparing for potential opportunities that could arise from a market downturn. In other words, Buffett could be anticipating a market correction or even a crash. Now, did you notice one crucial thing? Berkshire Hathaway has most of the holdings in the form of U.S. Treasuries. Okay, so what? The current three-month U.S. Treasury offers about 5.4% in returns, which is quite attractive for savvy investors like Warren Buffett. But he clarified the same narrative by saying that he would keep the same level of cash reserves even if the yield were just 1%. Here's what he said. You're sitting on $168 billion of cash, which you told us today is now more than $182 billion. His questions are, one, what is Buffett waiting for? And two, why not at least deploy some of it? I, I don't think anybody sitting at this table has, has any idea of uh, how to use it effectively, and therefore we don't, we don't use it, and we don't use it now at 5.4%, but we wouldn't use it if it, if it was at 1%. So, as you can see, Warren Buffett seems hesitant to invest in the market or buy stocks at the moment, which might point to the fact that he thinks the market is overvalued and that it's better to wait for the dip. Now, there's another indicator that makes the situation more concerning, and it's called the Buffett Indicator. Here is how it looks right now. So, the indicator is way above the mean right now, which indicates that the market is overvalued. The Buffett indicator is basically the ratio of the total market capitalization to the GDP. Think of it like this. It compares the overall value of the stock market to the value of what the country produces. 
If this ratio is too high, it suggests that the market might be overvalued. Historically, when this ratio gets too high, it's often followed by a market correction or even a crash. Looking at the graph we have here, you can see the trend over the years. The purple line represents the ratio and the dotted line is the mean or the average level. Just notice those peaks for a moment. Those are times when the market was highly overvalued. For example, around the dot-com bubble in 2000, the ratio spiked to 136.9%. Another spike happened just before the 2008 financial crisis. And now, take a look at the current situation. The ratio has skyrocketed to 177.7%, which is significantly above the historical average of 84.2%. This level of overvaluation is even higher than we saw before the previous crashes. It's like a red flag waving vigorously, signaling that the market is extremely overvalued. So why does this matter? When the market is overvalued, it means that stock prices are higher than what the companies are actually worth based on their earnings and the overall economy. This often happens due to investor exuberance, speculation, and other factors driving prices up. But this situation is usually unsustainable, and a correction where prices drop back to more reasonable levels becomes inevitable. Warren Buffett's decision to hold on to such a large cash reserve is a strategic move in this context. He's waiting for these overvalued conditions to correct themselves so that he can buy quality stocks at lower prices. It's like having a lot of dry powder ready to fire when the market presents better opportunities. A similar strategy was outlined by the savvy investor himself when he asked what he would do if he had only $1 million right now. Take a look. Towards the end of 2018, you mentioned that you guarantee you could make a 50% annual return if you had to start again with under $1 million. The question is, if tomorrow you woke up in the body of a of, of, uh, your body. 20 year old yeah, American. Your body. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> and your name was now Warren a la carte. <laughs> and you had some money to invest on a full time basis. What method or methods would you use to achieve that return? Would be, in my particular case, it would be going through the 20,000 pages. And since we were talking about railroads, you know, I went through the Moody's Transportation Manual a couple of times. That was 1,500 or 2,000 pages, or well, probably 1,500 pages. And I found all kinds of interesting things when I was 50 or when I was... Uh, Imagine going through old, dusty records and stumbling upon a small railroad company no one's paying attention to. That's exactly what Buffett did in his early years. He'd find these little-known companies, analyze every detail, and uncover opportunities that others missed. It's like being a detective, piecing together clues to find the treasure. So, if Warren Buffett had just $1 million today, his strategy would be all about deep research and finding hidden gems. He talks about going through thousands of pages of financial data, much like he did with the Moody Transportation Manual back in the day. For Buffett, it's not just about skimming the surface, it's about diving deep into the details of small, often overlooked companies. He believes that with thorough research and a love for the game, you could potentially earn 50% a year on your investment. But, and this is crucial, it's not just about the money. Buffett emphasizes that you have to love the process. You need to be passionate about discovering these opportunities. You must stick to the circle of competence. What that means is that you should invest in what you understand rather than pick what's trending or what someone else suggests. Buffett also highlights that everyone's brain works differently. Some people are naturally suited for different kinds of work. The trick is to find out what your brain is really good at and then focus intensely on that area. For Buffett, it's all about finding undervalued securities and playing the investment game. So, if you're looking to follow in Buffett's footsteps with a smaller amount of money, his advice is clear. Immerse yourself in research, find the areas you're passionate about, and focus on small, overlooked companies with potential. It's all about playing the game for the love of it, not just for the financial rewards. For now, the market is overvalued. 
So you'll have to wait until the market corrects, and then you must pick the right stock or any other asset that is something you understand and love and are passionate about, as Buffett explained during the annual Berkshire conference. Interestingly, Warren Buffett is not the only investor who rang the alarm bells. Jeremy Grantham also shared his prediction about the upcoming market crash. Watch our next video to hear what he has to say. Before moving to our next video, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment to get the conversation going. I will be back with another insightful video soon.